Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to fix this file share connection error in Windows 7, 8 or 10 and possibly Windows servers as well. It says you can't connect to the file share because it's not secure. This share requires the obsolete SMB1 protocol which is unsafe and could expose your system to attack. Your system requires SMB2 or higher. For more info on resolving this issue, see this link. Now here the SMB which is short for server message block protocol is an application layer network protocol that is used for providing shared access to files, printers and serial ports and miscellaneous communications between nodes on a network. In my case, I'm trying to share this USB storage device over the Wi-Fi network and when I try to access it, I get this error message, even though I have enabled sharing for this USB device from the router settings. And now without further delay, I will go ahead and show you how to resolve this issue. Okay, so from your windows, go to search and type control panel. Then click on control panel from the search results. On the control panel page, click on programs and features. Then it should take you to a page like this. Here, click on 10 Windows features on or off. And then you should have this Windows features page pop up. On this page, scroll down and check for where it says SMB 1.0 slash CIFS file sharing support. Then click on the checkbox to the left. Here also click on the plus sign next to it and check that the other options underneath are selected. If not, then you might need to check them manually. Then hit OK and wait for them to be enabled. This could take a while depending on your system specification. So I will fast forward this part of the video. Afterwards, you will need to restart your computer. Now try again to access the file sharing services and hopefully you will be able to gain access this time. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.